And please mute your phone if you're not speaking. I want to remind people that uh, this was a vote in 2012, and 72% of the voters approved it. Um, we're dealing with the, the aftermath of that. The litigation was initiated by uh, Mr. Grossman and Mr. Bryan. Uh, that litigation expense has come out of our general budget, not out of the uh, not out of any uh, uh, bond funds. Uh, I don't know where all this D League basketball stuff got started, uh, but but we, all we've talked about is that uh, in the last several months, that the greatest revenue generators prior to COVID-19 at arenas or concerts. And that was where the majority of the money was coming from. So we haven't done anything. I would like Sam to please clarify, and then I'll turn it over to Mayor Pro Tem. Please clarify where we are and the fact that there are no dollars going to be allocated. There's no discussion and there's no vote today on this as an item anyway. It is pure discussion. But go ahead, Sam, and please provide some clarification for all those. One last thing I do want to remind people that in April of 2018, at the time that we were in preliminary discussions to settle the litigation, has initiated those discussions initiated by uh, Grossman and Bryan. Uh, I offered Mr. Bryan at the time to purchase the property in what is the Union Plaza area for the cost that the city had paid for it. He refused, and I need to remind people that he said, well, we overpaid, but the city of El Paso had to do an appraisal, and at that time had purchased that land based on that appraisal. By law, that was required. So it sounds like he would have re uh, reassessed that today, but uh, lastly, let me say that the historical, the state of Texas considers uh, Chihuahuita as our first neighborhood, but go ahead, Sam.